to bestbeginnerguitarlessons.com. I'm Sam. And in today's lesson, we're going to talk about the three chords that you should uh, have gone over and been practicing on. They are the C, the F, and the G7. And hopefully now you've been able to learn the chords to make them sound pretty clear. The C, the F, G7. So now we're ready to start working on strumming these cards to make the card changes from one to the other. Learning how to change from one card to the other and at the same time while we're doing that try to keep the strumming hand going while the hand making the cards is making the card changes. And it's something that again with just a little practice uh, you may be already starting to do that which is great. Again with a little practice though you'll be able to get to where you can change from the C to the F to G7 without any problems. But we're going to talk about it, go over that today. Hopefully you know how to play the C now. Probably have it playing sounding pretty good. Hopefully so. As long as you're close, that's the main thing. As long as you're close to having all the strings sound clear when you put the pick through each one, each string individually, it's okay to move on. Same thing with G7. If you ever play it, making it sound pretty clear, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, the perfect will come with practice and playing. But if you're close, that's great. Time to move on to where we are today. The F chord might take a little longer to get it really, really clear because you have the first finger on the first two strings, first fret, second finger on the third string, second fret, third finger on the fourth string, third fret. And they're close together, so they can tend to touch a string next to it, one of your fingers touch a string next to it, cause a dead sound. But hopefully you've worked through that and you've got it sounding pretty pretty clear. So today we're going to be talking about changing, chord changing, from one chord to the other. Okay, what we're going to do today, first of all make sure, I'm sure you've got your guitar in tune, hopefully just check it, make sure it's in tune before we start today. We're going to start with the C chord. And we're going to strum down four down strokes. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to change. One, two, three, four. Just like that. And go back and forth. Okay? One, two, three, four. Change. One, two, three, four. Change. C. Three, four. G7. One, two, three, four. C. Two, three. Seven, three, four, C. G7. C. One, two, three, four, G7. Three, four, C. Three, four, G7. Three, four, C. That's good. So you, you use it in four downstrokes. One, two, three, four, change your card. One, two, three, four, change your card. Back to C. One, two, three, four, so on. Back and forth. Four strokes per card, okay? C to G7. One thing I mentioned in the last uh, lesson, last video, is when you play in C, it might help you a little bit. Just relieve your, your fingers off the strings a little bit when you get ready to go G7. Just drop your first finger down to the first string. Move your second finger up to the fifth string, your third finger up to the sixth string, and you've got G7, just that easy. And you reverse that, you move your first finger up to the second string, your second finger down to the fourth string, your third finger down to the fifth string, back to C. So that's it. That may help you just by lifting them up and just let, try to let the three fingers move together. Now you, you may be experiencing... Uh, some problems with the fingers. In other words, instead of moving together, it, it, all together at one time, you may be having to pick each finger up, move it, place it, place it, place it. That's okay if you have to do that. But try to keep the strum hand going, even though you haven't, maybe having a little trouble making the uh, cards fast enough. Try to keep this, the strum hand going, and this will help take care of this also. So. Again, if you have a little trouble switching, just keep going. And then keep going, just like that. Until it 
until you get back to the car that you're looking for. So again, sit down, when, you practice, when we start practicing on this car, car changing. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you can even slow it down. One, two, three, four. One, two, seven, three, four, C. One, two, three, four, G7. Then you take, and you can take the C and the F. C, three, four, F. Two, three, four, C. Two, three, four, F. C, two, three, four, F. C. Four times on each. And then finally you can you can go and mix them up. Go C F. Now we try G7. G7. One, two, three, four back to C. F one, two, three, four, G7. Two, three, four back to C. Two, three. Four, then G7, so you switch to G7. Three, four, back to C. Back to G7, four goes. Two, three, four, back to C. Four, then F. C. G7. Back to C. You get the idea. When you practice these cards, You'll just be doing four strums per card, switching them up. You can start with C to the F, and C to G7, and G7 to the F. It switch them up in all different orders. That way you'll get used to playing the cards. No, no matter which one you're coming from and going to, you'll be used to it. And again, sit down and just practice them over and over. And I know it gets boring, and, and uh, you get tired of the same old thing. But believe me, it will pay off. Uh, we're one lesson. We've got one more lesson before we actually play our first song. That's how close we are. One more lesson. But again, do not go on to the next lesson if you're still having a lot of trouble, you know, with dead spots, dead strings, fingers not pressing the strings firm enough, or touching the string next to it. If you're just having a little trouble, the chord is sounding pretty good. As far as you're concerned, you, you say, I, I, that's the way it's pretty good. It sounds pretty good. You can move on. Move on to the next lesson. Because as, as the more you practice, the more we continue through these lessons, uh, this will clear up. And you probably won't even notice it, but it's clearing up all the time. Each time you sit down to play, it's clearing up. But again, mix the cards up. C, F, G7, any order, back and forth. Mix those three cards up completely. Like I say, we have one more lesson to go, and then, yes, the, the time will be here to play the very first song. And I know you, you can't wait till we get there, and I can't wait to show you and be able to show you how to play your very first song. It's an exciting time with the guitar, and I know you're going to have a lot of fun doing it. Again, I'm getting some really good response from the uh, website. I'm, I'm really excited and happy I'm able to, to make a little difference in, in different people being able to learn how to play the guitar and hope uh, that I'm, I'm making a difference and showing you how to play the guitar. It's something you, you will cherish all your life. It, if Once you learn how to play, you, you will never regret learning how to play the guitar because it's something you can take with you throughout life. No matter what stage of life you're in, you, you'll have that with you and uh, people will admire you and you'll have fun doing it with your family and friends and, uh, by the camp fire and uh, maybe in a little small local group band or several bands. Uh, it, you can do a lot of different things once you learn to play or just sitting at home uh, playing the guitar and singing. A lot of fun. I've done many, many uh, hours and hours of staying at home and just picking up the guitar and playing and singing. Uh, great stress relief also. It, it's a good way to, if you've had a long day at work or a long day at school, Sit down, pick your guitar up and strum, play, sing. 
even if you're not a good singer. I'm, I'm not a great singer. I can play guitar, but I, I'm not a, a real good singer, but it, it doesn't really matter. You're doing it for your own enjoyment. As long as you're enjoying it, hopefully uh, that's all, all that uh, matters. And again, if you have any questions, be sure and email me. I'm here to help you in any way I can. Uh, again, we're focusing on strictly teaching you how to play the guitar the easiest way possible. Uh, I've taught uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of students how to play guitar. Some even play it professionally today. And you will learn. But just don't give up. Stay with it. Practice each and every day. Five days a week, minimum 15 minutes per day. I can't stress that enough. If you practice, if you stay with it on a regular routine, day by day, and follow through the lessons, one right after the other, learning each one well before you move on to the, to the next, you will learn how to play. Again, until the next lesson, let's go play some guitar.